All right, I'm going to show you how to program an M27C801 for making Super Nintendo reproductions. This is usually the smallest chip that you are going to use, and I only recommend using these if you already have a TL866 programmer. Um, otherwise, you can get a more capable programmer to do larger games, but uh, these are very cheap and simple to use, so we're going to go with this because a lot of people already have these for other reasons. So, anyway, you take your M27C801. I love these little leg squishers because the, the legs on these come kind of spread out. You put it in here and you squish it down, then it makes it so that the legs are straight and they go in a lot easier. All right, but we're going to open up our software here. Um, we need to find the correct chip, so you're going to select IC, click on that, type it in here, M27C801, and choose, I like the ST version because that's the brand of uh, chips that I have currently, select M27C801, hit select, click on the information button here to see where the chip goes, you see that it should be all the way up at the top, so down here we're going to put the notch at the top, and slide it in like this and lock it in. Okay. Then back up here, we're going to hit open and find the file. Now you need to make sure um, it's, it's best to be making homebrew games and stuff like that. You shouldn't be using this for piracy. Here I'm going to show you as an example a game that never came to the United States called The Fireman, which I love. Here's the .smc file. You have to make sure it doesn't have a header, um, and, but and make sure if you're used to making uh, reproductions using like donor cards and stuff like that, you do not do the swap bin step here. This is just the straight SMC file that you would play in an emulator. This should work in an emulator, or it will not work um, in the in the in the circuit board. Okay, so we select that, hit open, hit OK. Gonna click on this P here. This will go through and do a check, the blank check, and write it and verify it. So we'll hit program. These take uh, a little while to program. I think it's probably about a minute and a half. So we're gonna skip ahead. I'm gonna stop here for a second and I'll come back when it's done. All right, now it says the programming successful. Make sure it says successful here. Sometimes you might get an error in which case you would need to, usually you can try it again and it'll be okay. If not, you sometimes get a bad EEPROM. These are very old chips and so sometimes they have trouble, okay? But at this point, your chip is programmed. Uh, make sure to cover up the little window. You don't want uh, UV light to erase any information on the chip, although these will be in a case, so they're probably okay, but it's best practice to make sure you cover up that window. Then I like to write on the chip what game it is. We're just going to say Fireman and pop it out and it's ready to go. Um, watch the next video to see how to assemble it in a circuit board. All right.